<laughs> All right. Well, welcome everyone to another episode of Our Parents' Basement, a holly jolly podcast that tastes much better than eggnog. I am so excited to be here. It has been a very productive week for the for the basement dwellers. Uh, not only did we have a Christmas themed episode last week, but earlier this week we joined our friends from Retro Reload for a Christmas extravaganza holiday special, and it was lots of fun. Definitely check that out by going to the YouTubes or the Facebooks and checking out Retro Reload Podcast. You will not be sorry. But the Basement Dwellers are back, and we have a new show for you, and we are keeping up with the Christmas tradition, and I am very excited about it, so we're just going to get started. As you all know, I'm Philip. Sometimes I go by Cashel, and with me this evening, we have two of my favorite little reindeer. The first is Jason. Sometimes he goes by Turf. Turf, how are you this evening? I'm excellent. I, I, I'm Dasher. I'm Dasheen. I don't know. I wanted to be a reindeer. I couldn't come up with a good name. So I'm great. <laughs> Happy to be here. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. And the other one we have is Charles. Sometimes he goes by Mr. Nikon. How are you doing? Doing okay. Just, Hanging in there. Oh, too close. You're weirding me out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing okay. Hey. Glad to have you as well. Well, it's going to be another fun-filled holiday-themed episode of Our Parents' Basement, so I'm also thrilled to be here. Uh, so first of all, like I mentioned earlier, uh, earlier on Tuesday, we joined the cast of Retro Reload for a Christmas special, and the main event of that episode was to celebrate the VG Collect Secret Santa. Uh, the VG Collect Secret Santa has been going on for about uh, four years now, I believe, right? Yep, four years, thank you. And um, every year it's gotten better and better, and this year was no exception. Everyone seemed to have gotten some really great gifts, and uh, everyone seemed to enjoy giving the gifts as well. Um, I was not able to open my gift. However, we have a treat for you this evening. Uh, my present arrived yesterday, Wednesday, so I will be opening it up on camera. I'm so thrilled about that. But before we do that, um, yeah, let's just have a little chat about it real quick. What did you guys think of Secret Santa this year? How was it for y'all? It was my uh, first time. It was, uh, you know, pretty fun. <laughs> so, you know, I enjoyed doing it. Had to wait to open this box that I got. So, <laughs> Sure, sure. I, was I like, always well, enjoy it. I, I love the the giving. I love I, – I, I actually enjoy making somebody's day more than I – more than I do getting stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like getting stuff because who doesn't like stuff? Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I, I really like giving stuff, giving people, and I tend to go above and beyond just because I like to make people smile. So Very nice. I'm very festive like that. <clears throat> That's what it's all about. I mean, yeah, it's fun to get a gift, but, you know, VG Collect has really started to form a nice, tight-knit community, and to be able to spread the joy of video games amongst other video gamers, video game collectors. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So, Turf and Mr. Nikon, you both already opened your presents, but um, those uh, listening uh, only to our parents' space may not be in the know, so I thought it'd be fun for the two of you to kind of go through what you got, who sent you the stuff, who you had to send to, things like that, and... Um, Let's get started. So uh, let's see. Mr. Nikon, this is your first year yeah. participating in Beauty Collect Secret Santa. So yes, why don't you was. go first? All right. So here's my <laughs> box. Wait, this one. This one. This box is empty. Here, that's the box that came out. Oh, sorry, Doc. <laughs> that's an empty box. Empty box. So no, here's, okay. a, here's a real box. So yeah, open it up. First thing that pops out is this little Kirby, little hang taggy Christmas ornament thingamabobber. So... <laughs> And finally, I got a nice note from Cashel. Yep, I was his giver. <laughs> yes. So. Mr. Nikon, a.k.a. Boarhead Bob, a.k.a. the cool one. <laughs> Long story behind that. <laughs> yeah. But So I opened the box, and I got a, a big pile of GameCube. Game, I keep saying GameCube, goddammit. Yeah. Game Gear Games. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So, yeah. <clears throat> That's what yeah. she said. <laughs> yeah, so I'm trying to get you know, a Game Gear you know, complete collection here. So, what do we got? You know, Echo the Dolphin, the Tides of Time. I feel like I gotta be so dramatic to say that one. I know. <laughs> well, it's a very dramatic yeah. title. Yeah. Madden NFL 95. Not yeah. near as dramatic. Let's see, Clax. I haven't played that one yet. 
Have you played Madden 95 yet? Not yet. Okay. I think that's the one. It's either 94 or 95. You get to, when you create your character, you can't just push your stats all the way up. You have to go through like some mini games. Huh. Okay. Or you did on the Super Nintendo version, anyhow. I had it back in the day. Actually, the mini games are actually fun. They add something to it. Okay, cool. Oh. I got, what else I got? Three of the Poker Face Pauls games. You know, the Poker, Blackjack, and Solitaire. I think there's, I don't know how they did. My Poker Face. Um, I don't know the words. The Majors Pro Baseball, which is one of the few two-player games. Uh, Two player game your games. Those, those exist, huh? Yeah. Was there a had, system link or? Yeah, there's a, a link, like like with the Game Boy. Very uh, cool. Game Text Jeopardy, which I, I played this on the uh the Nintendo the NES. Arch Rivals the arcade game. Caesar's Palace, which is this is actually the uh, Majesco cartridge version of it. I guess it's in Mexico. Yeah, it, it's the uh after I guess Sega stopped really Doing stuff, and Jesco started making stuff for them, and he was like, okay. "Okay, you guys can do that." Columns, which I guess is what it looks like is like bejeweled somewhat. That's yeah, right. Column, yeah. Columns is a lot of fun. It's it was their answer to Tetris. Yeah, another two-player game. Um, clutch hitter. <laughs> no, comp- <laughs> no comp- collection should be without. <laughs> Crotch hitter, clutch hitter. Sorry, Sonic the Hedgehog, the first one. Zoop. Which is, oh, Zoop I, is so fun. Yeah, I was playing. It was, it's an interesting game. Yeah, I love Zoop. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Triple Trouble. <laughs> and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! Yes. Um, so, yeah. So, Mr. Nikon, I lost count. How many did I give you? Six, seven, nine, ten, Sixteen? All right. Well, I'm happy to provide for your Game Gear because, you know, he wants a f- complete set of all the Game Gear games, kind of like how Turf has all the Nintendo games. Mr. Nikon is going for Game Gear, nothing but Game Gear. So, so. okay, what is, uh, how many Game Gear games are there? Um, let me ch- check that out. Um, There's got to be a lot because that's been a lot around for a while, right? I mean, it had a long lifespan. Yeah. Like, there, there's probably a huge number that's uh, worldwide released, but like North American, I wouldn't guess there'd be more than like 120, 150. There, I've got I've got 45 of them now, and on my wish list there's 191 left for North American. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. I stand corrected, sir. So a little over, almost 300. Is that Not the ones exactly. you just got? That's 45. Yeah, 40. I got well. I well, I have 45 already in addition to the ones that you got me. Okay, I was like, "Damn, I barely made a dent for you." I wanted, to, I really wanted to help cut down the. Hey, that's a big dent, man. Then there's 105 in Japan, 19 European. So there's only 19 European, huh? Yeah, spe- specific European wow. ones. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Is it region free? The Game Gear? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, already... For all practical purposes, it is a master system. So in the master system, yeah. we're region free. So. So yeah, it's I already have like one Japanese game already. All right. Which so you're, so you're starting to make progress and sort of. I mean, it's gonna be a journey no matter what. But uh, yeah. Okay, I'm keeping my eyes peeled any for you. Anyway, you want it, anyway you need it. <laughs> well, I think, I think that's gonna be game really game. Fun. Oh yeah. I think that'll be a fun fun system to collect for. It's pretty inexpensive for the yep. most part. Yeah. Yep. And uh, mm. it's. I mean, it's just, it'll be so obscure and you'll just, there'll be so much weird stuff. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I remember growing, you know, growing up riding the school bus, if the ki- if the kids had a Game Gear, they were the cool kids. Well, I mean, we were, st- we were still dorks because we were playing video games on the bus, but, you know, the Game Gear was the thing to have. This is during the times of Cinderblock Game Boy. Um, so, yeah, you had a Game Gear, you were the shit. Oh, yeah. But, but you kid, know, those- kid on my bus growing up had, uh, a game gear with Mortal Kombat, and you could put the code in and get blood. So, oh yeah, up, up, down, down, two, one, two. <laughs> Start. <laughs> Whoa. Well done, sir. No, I'm sorry. It's two, one, two, down, up. Start. Okay, there we go. Yeah. I but those kids high. who had the game gear, they were broke because they always spent all their money on batteries. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could use six double A's and get to school and maybe halfway home. 
Yeah, like that. Uh, I never owned one. I didn't know they drain batteries so badly. Oh bad god, least. they they dra- they drain batteries like a frat boy goes through beer. Yeah, you know that that natty light, the financial light. Financial. <laughs> I love that. Let me start using that. For a long Consider time, that sir. stolen. I'm going to start using that. <laughs> oh god. Well, well Mr. Nikon, I'm glad that yeah. you are starting the Game Gear journey on the oh. right foot. I was so happy to get you for my recipient because yes. um, I loved buying the Game Gear games. I loved looking through them, and I printed out your wish list of Game Gear stuff, and I just started checking them off as soon as I oh, – this one, check. This that one there, check. And, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great experience to yeah. do that. That was the first time I ever bought Game Gear games ever as a gamer. Really? This is the first time for mm-hmm. everything. And, and I know you wanted to keep it a surprise first. till I opened it, but what you wanted to keep it a surprise till I opened it. Okay, so so something America. happened. Yeah, um, you want to tell a story? Should I? You could go for it, man. Okay, so I told Solware Toyota Solera, aka Brad, <laughs> that he's the one in charge of this whole thing, and. Um, I said, hey, I shipped my package out, and in case you need it for any reason, here's a tracking number. And then Mr. Nikon gets a message on VG Collect that says... Oh, I, your secret Santa wanted me to, you to have this. I look at it, I'm like, okay. Ah, now I know who sent this to me. <laughs> like the time I, I didn't get... say give him the tracking number. I said, in case you need it for any reason, so he spoiled the surprise. I'm like, who do I know in this town in Tennessee? <laughs> like, hmm. I'm just kidding with you, Brad. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks for doing this work. Thanks for organizing this whole thing. But, yes, um, thank you. Yes, it was a lot of fun. And I am, like I said, I'm so, I was so glad to, to get you as my recipient. So Yes. So we're on, a, we're, sorry, we're on a high note. Uh, Jason, how about you? How was your Secret Santa experience? All right, my Secret Santa experience was top-notch. Let me tell you, this is one of the best ones that I've ever had. And not just VG Collect, which is always excellent, but well, in ever doing a Secret Santa type deal or any kind of this, I got a phenomenal, I have a phenomenal package. Mm. So and my package is... <laughs> It's big, it's girthy, and it's got a lot of contents. Mm. <laughs> All right. So I got, I'm going to reach down here, grab said package, let me whip okay. something out, and then we'll talk about this. Well, no, hey, I'm not going to put the whole thing up here. All right, I open the box, and the first thing I get, I get a picture of some gentleman's canine Puppy companions. Dogs. I got some, some dog pictures, which <laughs> immediately went, oh, I know who has dogs that look like that. <laughs> so uh, Doc and Zoe will forever... Be with me, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. And uh, oh yeah, Mr. Nikon was turfs. Just in case yes. that wasn't clear. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Just um, yeah. Charles hooked me up. I got a couple of Hot Wheels. These are really cool. The boys like, already spied these, so they will be. <laughs> he said, "Oh, Hot Wheels." I said, "Yeah, those can be yours." Yeah, if he Here wants you them. Yeah. Oh, he's he was excited. He's like, "Really?" So there you go. I, I was I got him some Hot Wheels. Oh, I love that. I mean, uh, you for two. Now I was thinking, like you know, those are probably going to the kid. So yeah, he, yeah, yeah. I regifted them already. So, <laughs> <laughs> and as per the running joke on VG Collect, uh, Tootsie Rolls seem to find a way into all these packages or most of these packages. So, and, and not as just the Tootsie Rolls. It's you know they're a, a big selection of the Tootsie Roll product line. I tell you what, this is, I'm really. I want to try the lemon Tootsie Pop. I've never had a lemon Tootsie Pop. I've got my eye on that. That's good. There's dots in there. I, I didn't know dots were a Tootsie thing. I yeah. Just, mm-hmm. Assorted fruit gumdrops. Yeah. Got the big Tootsie Rolls, the long skinny Tootsie Rolls. Got the short Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> got the flavored Tootsie Rolls. So we got some. We got a Tootsie Roll party up in this piece. Yeah. And the like, world looks mighty good to me. And most people only give just the normal Tootsie Rolls. You know, I'm yeah, hey. He's a giver. Mm-hmm. Charles, I got to give the whole. The whole Tootsie Roll rainbow. The whole Roll experience. All right. And, all right. Another thing that I got in here that is exceptionally awesome is uh, we're, we always talk about Chicago, and Charles is always talking about how he talks up Chicago and all the things that Chicago is so much better than they are everywhere else in the country. Well, he says something along to try to help me out. Uh, <laughs> he, some, he, went, he went down to the gym, which is the grocery <laughs> store, and got, uh, got some, some Vintners original potato chips, and I'm really looking forward to these. I haven't opened them up yet. Uh, 
have, I, I need a sandwich or something. Maybe some uh, some Chicago beef. Maybe to go a kielbasa. With a BLT. A BLT. All right, I'll get a BLT to go with it. BLT. I love it. Or some pierogies. Dude. All right, I, I hadn't had pierogies. And I, I've, I'd never had until like this past summer. I went to a food truck festival in Little Rock. Yeah. Pierogies are like one of my new favorite things. I'm like, these are awesome. It's little dumplings filled with potatoes and cheese. Or I like the or ones I like are meat. the potato and bacon ones. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds okay. good. And, and you fry them in butter. All right. Oh, God. All right, America, like I'm going to tell you how to make pierogies because I've been looking, looking this up. You get you a piece of dough yeah. and you put it, you stuff it with potato and like like you would a stuff or a, a loaded baked potato cheese and bacon bits and potato and you put it inside this little dumpling and you fold it up and then you boil it and then you get it out and you fry it in butter because who needs heart health <laughs> um dude these things are awesome i don't know how i've made it to, how this hasn't ventured down into the into the south because this is perfect south food yeah we have chicken and dumplings we need potato stuffed dumplings and they also have them stuffed with like meats like i had a chicken one that was really good mm -hmm. chicken a chicken stuffed dumpling oh and they like <laughs> your mama is good and they stuff them like like you know cherries and blueberries sometimes Ooh, oh, that sounds they're, awesome they're good well, we see we have fried pies, yeah. which is pretty much the fried same thing. Pies. We just skip the bowling part. Huh? Yeah, you uh, you a piece of dough and you yeah. fill it with a pie filling, and then do it, and then pan or skillet fry it, and phew, you bet you. God, I'm getting hungry now. That is, that's, all that sounds good. Yeah. Jesus. All right, and t tonight I meant to uh, meant to get some ice cream because uh, Charles told me that I needed to try green Green River Float. I got some Green River soda. Uh, it's made with real sugar, and I'm no sugar. Yeah, looking forward to. It. I have. To, I've been saving this for ice cream because the Green River Float is supposed to be the thing. Jenny said that I had to, and I would be un Chicagoan if I didn't. Uh, if I didn't have that, so I have to try the Green River Float. And then I got some WBC root beer because I love me some root beer. And this is a Chicago, another Chicago made thing. Yeah. It used to be under uh, the Goose Island name until. Um, really? Yeah. Until uh, Goose Island. Really? Until Budweiser. Bought Goose, Island? Goose Island, yeah, or the the company that owns Budweiser, yeah. which is not an American company anymore. Sorry, America. But um, you know, some Green River. It used to be the number two soda brand in America, behind Coke. Really? Is it yeah. like a? Is it like Sprite or what is it? What's the taste? It's uh lime flavored. It's, so, I'm so into this. I'm I'm really ready. I, it's been a lot to not to open, crack it open, and try it. But just because, but I have, I'm waiting on the ice cream. I just forgot to get it. And you know, funny All fact right. about the, sorry, fun green river. That's where the name, they got the word pop from because the bottle seems to be sealed with a little marble. So you pop the, uh, pop the marble uh, out. Okay. And that's I how I know that. Back in the day. I'm going to go have a pop. Yep. That's what I call it. I still call it pop. And people down here look at me like a what? And then I roll my eyes. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> soda, but well, that's yeah. in, in the South gentlemen i'll let you in on a little secret that's how we spot you foreigners um, if you call <laughs> for transplants yeah you're from and it doesn't even matter where you're from you could be yeah. from the next county over and you're from off uh it's not you know you're not he's not from tennessee he's not from cincinnati he's not from chicago he's from off it's an all-encompassing place that is not here it's off they just gotta hear off. me talk like uh, that thing over there <laughs> tree there's, there's tree of those over here there's okay. tree trees over Boy, there from all thank you <laughs> yes, all right so here and so i got all the fun stuff and now we're going to yep. get down to the to the meat and potatoes of this christmas package because bg collect is a gaming website so we need we got to get games right there's got to be games mm, mm, we love games. games so here we go Reaching down. The first thing that opened up, uh, I saw some Famicom games in there, and I, since I completed my NES collecting, uh, Famicom games really and PAL games really interest me. So, uh, and there's been a few that when we were at uh, Retro Palooza, I saw Charles saw me have my eye on, and I just didn't get. The first one I, I pulled out of here was Goonies. It was the, uh, it's got the cool like movie label on it, the, and this game's really fun. I actually played it for a long time. It uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, but mm -hmm. Man, I, I, that's a fun little fun little deal. And surprisingly enough, it's all in English. Yeah. Like the title screen doesn't have a lick of Japanese writing on it. It says Konami really? 1986, uh, press start, and the Goonies are all in English. 
And, and I like that it, it has a hole for a little man eater for some odd reason. I have no idea why they have that hole in the cartridge. I I don't know. I don't know what that <laughs> hole. Yeah, there's yeah, a there's, hole. They, they have a little hole. All of them. They have a little. Well, no, oh, they do have a little me. hole. Yeah, Konami gets a hole for some reason. I mean, I don't know if maybe you could put them on a necklace, like you know, those creepy dudes in the Vietnam movies have ears. Yes, we could do that. Konami games. <laughs> we could put Konami games around our neck. Around our neck. Uh, you don't know no, another one. Question. What type oh, of game is the Goonies? Is it like an action game, a platformer? It's like a plat. It's a plat action platformer is what I would call it. Awesome. Um, you have to you go around killing little things, getting bombs, and then blowing up doors to get keys. Yeah. I just played through the first couple of levels, uh, and that's I mean that's been the that was the majority of the first two levels anyhow is just. You get keys and you open the door and move on. All the time, there's little, there's mice and bats and like little a like guy with agent gun. dudes mm-hmm. uh, coming the, to shoot you. The Fratellis. Are they the Fratellis? I mean, yeah. they they look like I don't know. They didn't look like the Fratellis. They look more like secret agents. But I don't know what. You anyways, know. it was really fun. It has has that good old Cindy Lauper music in it. <laughs> Very nice. Eight bitized, midatized, I guess MIDI music. Yeah, but yeah, that's a. It's really cool, man. It's it's a super fun game, and I would I have it for my Play Choice Ten, but my Play Choice Ten still in storage until I get my building out back finished. So mm-hmm. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. So I've got got that for the Famicom, or the I guess in my case for the Retron Five. The next thing I have is I got uh, Parodius or Parodius Da. I guess, is this Parodius Da? Parodius Da, yeah. Nice. Okay, it, it just says Parodius on the cover, so I didn't know, and I don't speak Fern language. Fern. Uh, <laughs> I, I got to kill the cat ship. <laughs> which the cat pirate ship thing i got to uh i don't know kill a, an eagle looking dude uh, <laughs> this is surprisingly it's not terribly difficult i really expected it to be harder it took me a few times to get the hang of it but i picked a little octopus dude and ended up with like four extra little octopi octopodius it's an easy Octop- game <laughs> i like that octopodius it, it's Clever. it's an easy game but it's so it's so fun it's very fun. Yeah. And the enemies are so weird and just different. It's not like the normal aliens, your spaceship shooting aliens. You're shooting a cat ship. Yeah. And a pirate a pirate penguin. It's cool. I like it. It's like uh, the, in, go ahead. As I say in the Super Nintendo one of the Super Nintendo versions, uh one of the levels Stars and Stripes Forever starts playing when you're fighting stuff. <laughs> I'm like, should I stand up and uh, salute now while I'm shooting the Uncle Sam eagle? <laughs> Sends a mixed mess. I mean, mess. It's, <laughs> it's such a weird game that it's it's awesome. It's right up my alley. They built they build stuff like that for me. <laughs> it's like, oh, I know there's going to be a guy in 30 years that's going to love this. So, amen. Uh, now, the last Famicom game that I got is uh, it's actually made by Shigeru Miyamoto. It, it never made it to the United States because of religious references. Devil World. It's a, I guess, a closest thing you compare it to, maybe Pac Man. Uh, yeah. You, got it, you collect a cross and then you go around and you collect dots. And then oh, the next cool. level, you have to get uh, four Bibles and get them to the middle. Or I assume they're Bibles, they're books with a cross on the front of it. And it's, uh, it's got some. I get some definitely religious stuff in it. I, I think the really cool touch of this game is yeah. the screen moves. Like you don't have any control it, up, down, left, right. The there's like two little guys on the side turning wheels that make the screen move, and you can't get mashed on the sides. But the the devil guys at the top, he, he'll point up, and then the screen will start going up, or he'll point down, and then you can. He gives you the gives you the directions. Really, it's really neat. Yeah. Oh my God. So that's okay. In Super Smash Brothers um, for the Wii U, there's an assist trophy where a guy does what you just described, and me and my brother are trying to figure out where does this guy come from. It's now the devil we know. from Devil World. I ah. had. Oh my God, that's so cool. Ah, oh, knowledge bomb. There we go. They they and, hopped in the Wayback Machine for that one because that's yeah. one of the like I said one of the OG Miyamoto games. That that's before Zelda. One of the first uh, original launch titles for the I think for the uh, Famicom. Wow. Is, uh, original. Says 1984, so yeah. Yeah, with the original Pulse labels. I love those Pulse label games. It just looks so cool. So so classic looking. It's, man, it's uh, it's fun. It Out of the three, it was probably my least favorite, but I mean, the other two knocked it out of the park, so yeah. it's not saying anything bad. Those, But <laughs> I played Parodius for a long time, and 
I'm definitely looking forward to more Goonies. So, all right. And then the last thing was the number one thing on my wish list and has been for a while. I've been wanting to get it for years. I just haven't found a good, uh, I guess, a good deal on it. But there's no better deal than Secret Santa deals. So I got uh, Final Fantasy II for the Super Nintendo. I love that game. Oh, such it's a game. very, very good. Very. I, I put. I had it back in the day, but uh, like I've said many times on here before, I took all the Nintendo games. My younger brother took all the Super Nintendo games, so he got mm-hmm. our copy of that. Um, but yeah, so now I have it. I have it again on the shelf with uh, set over there with Final Fantasy three and be Chrono Trigger, and they can just be happy. <laughs> you know, that was the first. The first time I saw Final Fantasy two was at a sleepover. That's my very first exposure to the RPG genre. And I, I was I, like, "What are you doing? You're not jumping on things. Why are you? <laughs> why are you getting to battles? Like, it, it, I just, it just like completely blew my mind that game. I still have to get that for myself at some point. Yeah, it's actually. I mean, it's really fun. It's uh, well, I don't, I don't know. It's of course out of the RPGs that I'm most of them that I played. My or my favorite list is probably the weakest, and I say the favorite list would be uh, Final Fantasy Three, Chrono Trigger, Mario RPG, and uh, Earthbound." Mm-hmm. would probably be like the other that would be my top five for uh for the super nintendo or probably rpgs period so it's probably number five on that list but still man it's uh it's really good and it I actually played three before i played this so there was a there was a kind of a step backwards you could tell but i mean i still enjoyed it yeah mr nikon awesome. you did a great job yeah he did he's yeah there was a uh, okay. i've had I've had some good Secret Santas in the past, and that was, that was probably, that was a good one. I'll just, just say it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like a guy I know it's you. I like. Ooh, I got I got throw Chicago stuff in for turf. You know. Oh, there was that, that was such a cool <laughs> touch, man. I've got to start doing stuff like that. Uh, that you you started something now. Instead of the uh, the Tootsie Rolls next year, people are going to get some. Uh, I don't know what we have in Arkansas pork rinds or something. I don't know. Hey, that works. And that's what I like about this. People throw in just random little trinkets, and they throw and they, you know, they put some care into the packages, and they, uh, they don't. They, they, they're not just throwing in a game in a box and shipping it off. There is thought that goes behind this most of the time. So that's another oh. reason why I like VG Collect Secret Santa so much. Well, like you said earlier, we've got a really good community at VG Collect, and uh, like I've got, there's several people that are I'd, I'd call legit friends on there. You know, they're not just Absolutely. nameless or faceless people on the internet. I mean, well, I mean, like you guys and the Retro Reload guys and uh, Brad, and it's, I mean, it's people that I consider like legit friends just outside of uh, the internet. So yeah, I mean, this, the website does attract some crazies, but they usually get dealt with pretty quickly. So. <laughs> but anyways well turf mr nikon awesome very nice so um i guess it's my turn then you have the floor sir yeah all right time for uh what did you get all right well uh everything came in a nice big brown box giggity but (laughs) i threw that away just for the sake of space so i'm gonna first off hold up to the camera a quick preview of everything so here's everything oh nice nice little pile there yeah, so the first thing I saw when I opened the box was, first off, well, actually before that, the first thing I s- did not see were any Tootsie Rolls, so thank you for not giving me any Tootsie Rolls, Secret Santa. Thank you. I hate those things. <laughs> Anyways, I got a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Lip Pop. So basically, I popped a sucker in my mouth, and I have reindeer lips for as long as a sucker lasts. <laughs> um, read into nice. that as you will. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. very nice. There's a card. It says Cashel in silvery, nice lettering. So wow. I'm going to pop this open real quick. Ooh. Ghirardello chocolates. Oh, nice. Which are delicious. And I'm gonna, let me look at the card real quick. <gasps> okay, so I just saw the name of who the card came from, and I was wrong. I thought my Secret Santa was someone else. It turns out my Secret Santa is Lady D, a.k.a. Dissociatus, a.k.a. Nancy, who, by the way, side note, I had the pleasure and privilege of meeting in the flesh, plus her boyfriend when I was visiting San Francisco. She is an amazing person. Uh, her guy is an amazing person. Of course, her guy is lucky to have her in her in his life. I mean, that should go without saying. So um, I feel very lucky and honored to have uh, actually you know, put a face to the screen name. So 
thank you so much for this. I'm going to read the card real quick. Da, 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 All right, so it's more of a personal message, so I'm not going to share it on camera. <laughs> All right, then. So I'm going to start opening things. So the first thing I'm going to open is this. This is a looks like a some sort of book. So I'm going to tear this sucker open. Ooh. Hey, very nice. Cool. We got an art book. The Art of Tales of Symphonia. Nice. Very excited about this. I already have the one for Tales of Legendia, so this is a great addition. Damn, this is nice. I can't wait to look, look through this. Thank you very much. I love this artwork, too. Man, this is great. So there's that. And, okay, so when we do VG Collect Secret Santa, usually um, we're asked to fill out our wish list. And in my case, I filled out a wish list of mainly PS2 games. The PS2 is my favorite console of all time. And I'm trying to, you know, just build more, build a collection for that. Um, trying to branch out from the RPG genre. Just trying to expand my horizons. So I listed a bunch of obscure PS2 tiles I had some interest in. And um, based on the pack this nice packaging, by the way, um, I... Uh, expecting this it looks like some ps2 games but we'll see so first of all nothing but wii u nice. games you what <laughs> Watch them. Yeah, nothing but wii u games <laughs> there's some atari, ga atari games and fun boxes <laughs> <laughs> there's a little ribbon that said cash on it oh the the a in cash is a heart nice touch beautiful so okay harsh harsh yeah okay, i'm gonna open this first one up Sweet! This is what I was hoping to get. What'd you get? What'd you, what'd you get? What'd you get? Horror fan. So I got Siren for the PlayStation 2. I am so excited about this. I have heard good things. Um, I love horror games, and um, I'm looking forward to trying this out. Thank you so much. All right, there's that. Three more. Here we go. I hate to unwrap these. These are so nicely put together. Let's see what we got here. Let's open this one up. No way. Oh my God! She didn't. Jesus, this is the other one I was hoping to get. Ghost Hunter. I was not expecting to get this one at all. This is. Oh my God! I have, I'm 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 pretty much speechless right now. It's kind of like an action meets survival horror type of game. So, uh, wow! I am at a loss for words. And this is only the second one I've opened. This is great. Oh my God! Let's keep this momentum going, you guys. I love this wrapping paper. This is fun. This is Saved by the Bell cafeteria wallpaper right here let's see what we got here oh my goodness uh -oh. i'm starting to see a theme here <laughs> the suffering another scary game <laughs> this is great oh, i can't wait to play this well, now when you play those games you, do you sit in the room with auto lights off in the room and play it oh yeah atmosphere i know like people are like uh oh, it's not real you know how can you get scared i don't get scared per se but it's just like it adds to the effect like you know brown recluse spiders yeah no, now those legit scare me they scare the hell out of me but who wants to play a video game about them yeah you know so suffering awesome another lots of blood lots of gore lots of exploitation looking forward to that as well and last but not least here we go And this is... I had a feeling it would be this one, and I, I'm very happy about that. The Suffering That Ties That Bind, the sequel. Oh, wow. awesome. Wow. I, I'm at a loss of words. Like, this completely surpassed my expectations. Um, I always knew that Lady D was a fantastic person. Uh, this just gives me more ammunition as to why she's a fantastic person. So thank you so much for these gifts. I'm going to play each and every one of these. And um, yeah, this is why I love VG Collect Secret Santa. I mean, it's it was a blast to buy for you, Mr. Nikon, but thank you. I mean, shit, getting all these games I wanted for yeah. such a long time, I mean, I'm so thrilled. And I thank you and again for all these. Oh, you're very welcome. It was my pleasure. And if, it, uh, if it's okay with you two, I have a little story to tell about um, the buying experience for you, Mr. Nikon. Okay. You see, when I was looking for stuff for you, I went to my first, like, my go-to store, and they had barely anything. And I was kind of bummed. Like, I had this plan of getting you nothing but Game, game Gear games, and they only had, like, two. 
and they were like the blackjack and the solitaire ones. <laughs> I was like, God, this, this isn't good. So I was driving home and I took it. I was like, well, I don't know if another used media store on, uh, on the way home. So I made a little bit of a detour. And not only is that where I saw all those Game Gear games I got you, it's where I ended up by finding this in the wild. This is Kuan for the PlayStation 2. Oh, really? I have wanted this game for quite some time. This is like super rare. The price on it was awesome. It's complete. Um, so have I, had I not participated in Secret Santa, had I not gotten Mr. Nikon, you know, I would have missed out on this. So, you know, serendipity, coincidence, you know, karma, whatever you want to call it, I am I'm just, since this whole thing started, I've been on cloud nine, and uh, this just is another reason why. Because I saw this at that same store I got your stuff, Mr. Nikon, so. Awesome. I'm yeah. glad I could help you out find that game. <laughs> you really did. Like, you have no idea how, you know, I, I, you know what's funny? I almost came to buying it on Amazon for, like, a crazy high price, and I'm so glad I didn't. So, so like... Like percentage wise, I know you don't want to tell how much you give for it or you gave for it, but what would you say versus uh, what it was on Amazon? What, how you mean? Like, what, what price was? I mean, if you don't want to say how much you paid for it. Oh, no, no, no. I see. I would say it's about if prices are still the same, 60% of what it would be would have been on Amazon. Are almost you serious? Half. Yeah. Wow. So I feel so lucky um, to, to have gotten that. I mean, it was still, still expensive. Don't get me wrong, you know. Right. It's the state of the world right now. But um, not one hundred and fifty dollars expensive. No, no, I was. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was. Wow. Great price. Um, I'm not sure if they didn't know what they had or uh, they just got mixed up. I, I don't care. It's mine now. Are, I tested it. It works great. Um, I, I say, I'm going to save it for Halloween, but um, or later. But uh, yeah, I am so thrilled. By this Dude, that's awesome or they're trying to do a reasonable price on it so <laughs> yeah or yeah. they were just weren't being dicks about it <laughs> you know that that may be there uh I, a game store here of course the guy he made more money selling like uh health supplements so he he had a health supplement store and a game store and he made more money at the supplement store so he closed the game store and opened another supplement store so anyways he would do that he would the dude like a lot of times he'd get sick of sitting on something and just put a decent price on it and then it would go. Yeah. So that, I mean, it may be something like that, that, you know, the full price, it was going to sit there for a long time. But if you put, you know, a decent price on it, you'd still, because he probably really in reality gave $5 for it or, yeah. like, or bought it in a box of stuff. You know, somebody didn't come on, come in with that probably. Absolutely. But uh, so that may be, that may be what they were just, you know, it's not every store's evil and out to get you, you know, they're not all trying to gouge you. So that may have been what it was. Yeah. Maybe. Um, who knows? Uh, I, I, I love. I, I think. I think a lot of it has to do with luck. I mean, that was just chance that I decided to take this detour. Uh, as you can see, once again, I'm speechless. It was a Christmas miracle. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It was the best Christmas ever. Christmas, <laughs> everyone. Ah, so, I would say that VG Collect 2016 was a total success. All of oh, us. without a doubt, dude. It was it was yeah. another great year. Uh, I can't wait to see. Like, we, a lot of people haven't opened their gifts yet, and I'm really pumped to see what else uh, everybody got. You can kind of you can kind of look and sell. And, and I don't want to say that because it, I mean it's a great site, and most people you know get along. But there's definitely you know pockets of people that are you know buddies like you know us. Charles yeah. got me. You got Charles. Uh, our good lady D, she uh, got you. I got Brad. You know, these are all yeah. people that are we're on a first. We've all actually met. You know, all, I haven't I haven't met uh, Lady D, but I've met the other one. When you do, she's awesome. Well, if I'm ever in California, I'm or in uh, the whatever Bay Area, yeah. I'll try to I'll make it a point to. But um, and I mean, then like on Retro Reload, several of those guys they you know mix together or they got each other so i mean there was brad did a little bit of work especially i think with our two podcasts to, so we could be able to do something like this yeah, then it, was, yeah. it wasn't random yeah <laughs> maybe it was maybe i'm wrong but it sure seems like he uh 
he was, Santa was helping us out. Yeah, I'm surprised like he didn't, you know, Dirk didn't get cash, you know. Yeah, I was surprised by that too, a little bit. I'm oh, like that. Well. That'd have been a nice little com- to complete the circle. <laughs> complete the try. There's always next year, guys. There's always next year. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I think this is a really solid tradition. Um, I mean, I think getting gifts from the BG Collect community is a lot more fun than getting gifts from like you know coworkers. Uh, and really, it's really, <laughs> really fun because we do, we talk to each other every day, uh, yeah. or yeah. at least a couple times a week. Uh, we're you know there's a group conversation going on, and I don't you know some people say that like online friends or online uh, acquaintances or whatever they're not real friends. Dude, there's a person on the other end of that faceless user ID, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That uh, that anonymous person behind there, that's a real person, and the more that we talk to each other, the more you get to know people. Dude, that's I mean like legit friends, and I really I enjoy this. We all have the same taste. We all have the same. Uh, well, maybe not the same exact taste, but we got the same. <laughs> I <was> like, well, <laughs> okay, I'm I'm not really. Uh, we're not on a site about uh, Cindy Lauper CDs and uh, socks and video games. It's just it's all video <laughs> games. That's what I'm trying to yeah trying to get to. I mean, we all love socks. Who doesn't? You know, who does not wear yeah, socks? Yeah, keep your feet but, warm. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you see what I'm saying? We we have varying taste in what we're into, but we're all in the video games, and then we get to. But like I've said several times on here and on uh, with Retro Reload the other night, that we get to venture off into other people's what their tastes are. You know, we I, I search for Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games all the time, and I have a certain taste that I like. But I can venture off into import PS3 games if that's uh, what my Secret Santa's into. So that was a uh, it's fun to be able to learn about it, something new, and maybe you know expose myself to a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Mr. Nikon, what was it like buying for turf? Because that, to me, seems like familiar territory. Yeah, you know, I'm in Super Nintendo, and, you know, you know stuff like, you know, I knew Parodius, you know, we played Parodius. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, like, oh, I was going to buy Goonies. I'm like, yep, yeah, I know what to get them now. Yeah, so, uh, like, yeah, it's good memory. And I remember you talking about, you know, like you played Devil World on em- emulation at one point. You said it's an interesting game, so I'm like, oh, okay. You know, I like Devil World. You know, it's it's a fun game. So, and it had to say, yeah. if I could get some, one year, maybe I'll have somebody that wants NES games, and I can uh, assuming the price goes down every sometime. And if I drew somebody that wanted NES games, man, I've got a pretty good knowledge of this library, and I could pick out those gems. Yeah. I could go pick out the ones like, dude, you're you're going to enjoy Power Blade. You're going to enjoy Shatterhand. Uh, if you, you know, if this is your type of game, dude, you're, oh, you're going to enjoy Lolo. You know, may, maybe not the ones that everybody knows about. I could get some deep cuts that people would really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And with the Game Gear games that I was looking at, I was a little worried that some of them might be just like kind of shovel wary, like that Power Rangers game. But I looked up some <coughs> footage of it. It looks actually like it's pretty fun. Yeah. Like, I haven't, my battery's just died my, my Game Gear. So well, I mean, what else? I, I've been trying. <laughs> I, I only tried a few of them, so. I actually almost bought you like a Sam's Club size thing of batteries to go with it, but that was going <laughs> to increase shipping a lot, so I couldn't do it. I was kind of bummed. <coughs> so it's all good. <laughs> I could, I could, uh, I got batteries at home. So all right, well, very good, very good. Well, my friends, I like I was saying, this Secret Santa was this might be the best Secret Santa yet. And uh, once again, Lady D, mwah, thank you so much for that. Awesome yes. collection of PS2 games. And I'm so glad I could finally add Kuan to my collection. Um, <coughs> when I got it, when I, you know, I finished your shopping, uh, Mr. Nikon, back in like before Thanksgiving. And I was like, okay, there might be a chance I get this game. I said I would not buy anything from my wish list, but you know, I had to buy it. Like This was not going to happen to me again. So now I can yeah. finally add that to my collection too. <laughs> so it's a good day. It's a very good day. Nice, but man, that's, so. that, I'm really looking like looking forward to digging more into these. Uh, you know, you said you're gonna play that that coup on. You know, you've you've been wanting all these games. What are some of those about? What are those? I know, like the suffering, it has to do with a gal on death row, right? Yeah. Yep. Um, that's about all I saw. I think in the suffering, you play as a guy who is committed for a crime he didn't commit, 
So that's why he's on death row. But um, I guess you have a lot of choices to make along the way. Because maybe he actually did kill whoever or something like that. And as far as the second one, the ties that bind, I'm not entirely sure. But um, based on what footage I've seen, it looks bloody and disgusting and twisted, just like me. So I'm uh, looking forward to diving into that. Ghost Hunter, this is one I just kind of randomly heard of just on a whim. Um, if memory serves, basically you're some supernatural um, expert and you've been tasked to hunt ghosts, but the ghosts are like all crazy, scary, demon looking. They're not like these, you know, it's not, it's not like sissy Fatal Frame shit. Well, Fatal Frame's kind of a bad reference. Um, they're not like Casper. We'll say that. They're out to okay. get you. Um, say any more Casper in my life. You also need any more in more in your life. Uh, Wendy the Good Witch, because it's played by Hilary Duff, who I like a lot. <laughs> oh, Hilary! As far Duff. as Siren goes, it's just another like crazy, scary Japanese culty horror game, kind of like Kuan. Um, only Siren takes place in the modern era. Kuan takes place in like the ancient Japan during the. Let me find it. Uh, the feudal, feudal the, era. The, Pay on period. So very, very feudal Japan. So I got a lot of variety here. I know it's all the same genre for the most part, but they're kind of different, and um, I'm looking forward to each and every one of them. So, PS2 had a lot of survival. That was like the heyday for survival horror, wasn't it? Because, I mean, there's a lot of those, like, I say heyday. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, obscure, I guess, survival horror games on PS2. I mean, you got like Rule of Rose. That was pretty obscure. Yeah, that? that was really that was a really hard one to find. Wasn't there one uh, called like Clock Tower or something like that? Yeah, uh, Clock Tower Three for the PlayStation Two. I played that. Um, the thing about Clock Tower Three is, in my opinion, it's not scary at all. In fact, it's campy. Um, when it tries to be scary, it just ends up being hilarious, and the the acting is just so god awful like if you go in there tr expecting to be scared you're gonna be disappointed but if you go in with a f the fun attitude and saying hey time for a b-horror movie then you'll be pleasantly surprised <clears throat> does that make sense all right yeah that makes perfect sense i mean just like you if you want to sit down and be scared you're not going to watch uh army of darkness you're yeah. going to the thing of b-horror movie and this is going to be silly and dumb and you know that going into it you're going to have a good time yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. I, I love those B horror movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Aren't fan of. I think, I'm yeah. big fan of Roger Corman, the, the king of the B horror movies. Roger Corman, wait. Yeah, he did the original Little Shop of Horrors. He did um. Oh. Death Race 2000 with uh, you know, David Carradine. Which one's the original one? Little uh, Shop of Horrors. The uh, one in '59. Okay. The black and white one. Hmm. Isn't, there, you, isn't Jack Nicholson in one of them? Yeah, he's in the original one. Okay. Which was, that was filmed in two days. Two days? He, really? he did all the principal photography in two days. People Wasn't say... That... Go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. Was, I had a question. It was, there's like two reasons why it's possible. It was done because someone bet him he couldn't do a film in two days. And another thing was um, after, like, I guess the first of the year, that's when a whole new... You know, residuals are taken for people who are actors in movies, so he, they would have to get continually played every time it showed. So it's one of those two reasons why it was made in two days. Huh. I'm, I'm going for the part he did it on a bet. <laughs> it's more fun, any, anyways. Yeah. yeah. It's like he did, um, what, The Terror with uh, Bela Lugosi and uh, Jack Nicholson in it. He had Bela Lugosi for like three more days. So I got you for three more days. I got this script. We're going to do this. So he shot <laughs> Bela Gossi's scenes in three days, and he was done. Then did the rest of the stuff of uh, Jack Nicholson for like another couple months. Wow. I did not know that. Dude, you're like a, just dropping knowledge bombs. Of I know. I just learned about Devil World, and now this. This is crazy. Oh, Francis Ford Coppola also directed part of uh, The Terror. So that's what Wait. you guys that name sounds familiar. I don't know much about movies, so like my. Francis Ford Coppola did Apocalypse Now. Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, good times, good times. But anyway, is uh, Nicholas Cage's uncle? Isn't that right? Yeah. 
Nicholas Cage. Not my favorite actor. I'm not gonna lie. I'm Nicholas Cage. You should watch The Rock. The Bees. To be a fan. <laughs> not Rock. The Bees. Or Con Air. Those are both. Oh, good. Oh, Con Air. I love Con Air. Or or uh, what, his, best, his best movie was um uh, Raising Arizona. Oh yeah, that, that's that actually is pretty good. That is a good movie. That's probably his only good movie. <laughs> Dude, don't knock the rock. Don't do it. That's, I'm that's not saying. Jam. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm Sean Connery. I'm Sean. The Connery. Rock is that like what? What year was that? Like, is this a '90s movie or? That was about 1997. Yeah, 1997. Oh, good year. <laughs> yeah. Love that. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, yeah, rock. Yeah. It's okay. It's not horrible. It's not okay. It's good. It's good. You just watch it and you enjoy it. <laughs> Ooh, it's Cinematic feisty. masterpiece. <laughs> now, Con okay. Air, I heard, was fun. That yeah. I do Con Air is awesome. Yeah. Con Air is funny. It's just... It's, it's Okay, the bad part about Con Air is Nicolas Cage's horrible southern accent. Oh, jeez. What accent? No, it's he, he has such like a... I don't know. I, I don't even know. It's just, he's supposed to have a Southern accent and he just sounds mentally challenged. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, I, oh man. I was, oh God. Talk about other cinematic match. I was watching volcano the other day. Volca- <laughs> and Haitian Tommy Lee Jones and the volcano erupts in Los Angeles. What? <laughs> Is this a thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! See, I'm kind of glad I missed a lot of movies during the during the '90s. I was mainly gaming, so I didn't know what movies were there and weren't not were not. And now I'm kind of glad about this. I mean, shit. There was there. Hold on, now there were some good ones that came, like The Rock, yeah, and Con Air, Con Air. But then there were movies like Dante's Inferno, Dante, and, yeah, Dante's Peak or whatever, or Dante's Peak, excuse me, and uh, the volcano movie. And then there was another volcano movie that came out at the same time. <laughs> What? Deep Impact. It, what was it? Which, it was deep, deep Impact like, and Armageddon were the Armageddon, same movie, right? Yeah. Like Deep Deep Impact had yeah, one, of the, yeah. the, one of the most movieest death scenes when they're all standing by the, the ocean watching the wave coming after them. Well, what are you going to do? It's not like you can run from this, you know, 50-story high uh, wave. But, but a volcano, God. You take your surfboard and hang 10. That's what I would do. But Volcano had the ultimate 90s disaster movie death scene. When the guy's taking a driver from the train and he's walking through the train and his shoes are melting, the train's all plastic's all melting on him. And like the lava is in front of the train, so he can't jump off. So he has to jump into the lava. So he throws the guy out of the lava and he starts melting in the lava. I bet the special effects were to die for. And Jerry's like clapping. I'm like, this is so bad. This is horrible. <laughs> all right, if you're if you're gonna go out by lava. Wouldn't you just jump in head first? Uh, but but you gotta toss your buddy out to save him, man. You're saving him, so you're diving and you're melting and your soul. No. You're like raising the roof as you go down. Like <laughs> yeah, his hands are up. And he's like, it's like no, you, gotta, you just go in head first. That way your head pops and you don't feel any. Feel your yeah. legs burning. Like spicy quicksand, basically. Spicy quicksand. <laughs> <laughs> That's a t-shirt. <laughs> And, then, oh, and spicy quicksand is trademarked at our parents' basement as of now. That's our trademark yes. now. Spicy quicksand. All rights reserved. <laughs> All right, you two. Well, anyway. this was probably one of the most fun episodes we've ever done. So I think, uh, yep, it is about that time, though, to start saying our fond farewell. So once again, though, I know I said it already, but I got to say it one more time. Thank you again, Dissociatus, a.k.a. Deso, a.k.a. Lady D, a.k.a. Nancy, a.k.a. one of the prettiest people on VG Collect for my awesome gifts. Aww. Uh, my eternal gratitude to you. And, um, yeah. So, and I'm guessing you guys have lots of thanks as well, but you've already said them or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Philip Cashel, for the Game Gear games. Oh, I, didn't say, well. I didn't say GameCube this time. Hey! Again, say game. I don't like saying GameCube. Game Gear games. Thank you. You're very welcome. My pleasure. <laughs> Add to and the Charles, show. Thank you. Oh, you're I welcome, man. It. I'll <laughs> hug you next time I see you. I'll hold what? you. I'll caress you. I'll give you a piggyback ride. Which will probably be at the Actually, Louisville Arcade Expo, which we will all be going in the. Uh, which I believe that is the first weekend in March. Very yeah, first weekend in March. 
another meetup, another arcade expo. It's going to be fun. If you're anywhere near Louisville, Kentucky, come see me. Uh, they didn't pay me to say that, so uh, I wish they would. But, man, you need they to come out. All, all these games on free play. Uh, you can buy games. Of, you know, a lot, Most of them are for sale if you want to. Yep. Come out to the Louisville Arcade Expo. It is a blast. I can go Can't home with a Robotron 2084. Can't Which is a real possibility. Man, if I could afford it, I would buy, well, A, I'd buy Jason Sanding events. And if I could afford it, I'd buy Mr. Nikon, uh, that Robotron arcade, because, you know, that's, that's what it's all about at OPB. We are all about, you know, camaraderie. That's what comrades do. But enough of my sappy, sappy shit. Uh, Turf, a.k.a. Jason, a.k.a. Mr. Arkansas, 2016. Where can one listen to this episode one more time? Well, I'll tell you what. If uh, First, before we say that, I'm going to say, if you want to be part of this, uh, swing by BG Collect. They oh, didn't yeah. pay me to say this. Uh, <laughs> it's a good place to uh, catalog all your video game collection. And even if you don't have a, much of a collection, if you just got you know five PS4 games and you're just in the recent stuff, that's cool too. Hang out at the forums. If you want to hang out and talk about video games with some really cool people, check out VGCollect.com, sign up, jump right in and join the party. It's It's a real good time good people and good conversation. Now, if you like this, what we did tonight and you want to see more videos, you can go to the YouTubes, go to YouTube and type in our parents basement podcast. We're easy to find. We have what? 35 episodes now, or if you're watching this, you can probably click right over there and there's more episodes. If I had to guess, uh, you can watch all those. And if you, if you want to go to our website, you can check us out at our parents, We've got plenty of episodes up there for your viewing enjoyment. Now, what most people enjoy, because I'm beginning to think that we're not attractive, but I, 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 I disagree. I disagree. I think we're very good to look at, but maybe people just want to take it on the go. Maybe they like to listen in their car, uh, whatever it is. Maybe you're taking me on a jog. Cause I need to go on a jog. Um, <laughs> you can, you You're can exercising the, for us. You can, you can download like the yourself. audio only version of this podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google play, iHeartRadio, radio, SoundCloud tuned in and coming soon to other platforms. So I'll let you know whenever we get those up. Yeah. So you can uh, download this and take it with you. The, like I said, the audio only is where most people tend to enjoy it. If you want to interact with us, you can hit us up, on the comments on this video on YouTube, or if you're listening and you're not, don't have the access to the YouTubes, you can go to Twitter, uh, OPB podcast or at OPB podcast, uh, go to facebook.com slash OPB podcast. We have an Instagram that we don't Instagram very much, but you can go there and find <laughs> what we'd like to click on at OPB podcast. See a theme here. Uh, send me an email at g or opb podcast at gmail.com and that's about all well all right. done. nice concise and to the point as usual all right everyone well thank you all for watching and or listening and or subscribing this has been a blast and we will see you once again next week for another fun-filled christmas themed episode of our parents basement so until then later see, see you all next week good night Bye.